we have events a b and c and then we're given the probabilities and the combinations as a venn diagram and the first question 10.1.1 a uh, says that let's find why the probability that none of the events will occur the probability that none of the events will occur so the probability that none of the events will occur is always equals to one minus the probability that at least one of the events okay and then that is given to us on the question statement it is said that the probability that at least one of the events will okay is 0 0.893 so the probability of y is just one minus uh, 0 0.893 and that is 0 0.107 now we can do b b is saying that uh, let's calculate the value of x the probability that all the three events will okay the probability that all the three events will okay x is here this is what we're looking for the probability that all events will okay we already know that the probability of at least one event occurring is 0 0.893 the probability that at least one event occurs is 0 0.893 so all these probabilities that we see here should be equals to 0 0.893 right so if we do that we're gonna get 0 0.893 being equals to 0 0.05 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 plus again 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.183 plus x right so now we're just solving uh, for x the probability that all three events okay so 0 0.893 will be equals to let me just add all these uh probabilities i'm getting 0 0.733 plus x uh, so consequently x will be equals to so we're just saying 0 0.893 minus 0 0.733 which should be equals to 0 0.16 so now here at x we knew that we have uh, 0 0.16 right we have 0 0.16 at x and then let's do 10.2 uh 10.1.2 i meant 10.1.2 is saying that uh, let's determine the probability that at least two of the events will take place the probability that at least two of the events will take place so we need a formula for that the probability that at least uh two uh events of a b uh and c okay this will always be equals to the probability of a and b plus the probability of b and c plus the probability of uh, c and a right minus two the probability of a b c right so we're gonna have uh, the probability of a and b uh, a and b so that will be um 0 0.1 plus 0 0.16 right so we have 0 0.1 plus 0 0.16 plus the probability of b and c uh, the probability of b and c will be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.16 so we have 0 0.2 plus uh, 0 0.16 plus the probability of c and a uh, c and a so that's 0 0.15 and 0 0.16 right so we have um 0 0.15 plus 0 0.16 and then minus 2 the probability of a b c so that is minus 2 and then 0 0.16 you can see here that uh, we counted 0 0.16 three times and we start selecting 0 0.1 twice so that we end up counting it uh, only once right uh, so let me just put that in the calculator and i'm getting 0 0.61 so the probability that uh, at least uh, two of these events will take place is 0 0.61 uh, let's do 10.1.3 so 10.1.3 is saying that uh, are events b and c independent justify your answer we have solved a very similar problem in the past right so what we have to do now we have to stick to the definition 
what does it mean when two events B and C are independent, right? Uh, by definition, two events B and C are, in are independent if the probability of B and C is equal to the probability of B multiplied by the probability of C, right? So let's go ahead and look for the probability of B and C. So here on our Venn diagram, the probability of B and C is this 0 0.2 and X, which we know fully well that X is 0 0.16, right? So we have uh, 0 0.16 plus 0 0.2. Uh, being equals to right, uh, so we check in to see if they are equal to each other. So, what is the probability of um, B? The probability of B is everything in the circle of B, right? Everything in here in the circle of B, the probability of B. So, that will be uh, 0 0.183 plus 0 0.1 plus. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.16 multiply by the probability of C. The probability of C will be 0 0.05. Uh, everything in this circle here uh, for C, right? Everything in this circle. Uh, 0 0.05 plus uh, 0 0.15 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.2, right? Uh, so 0 0.16 plus plus 0 0.2, that will be 0 0.36, and it will be equal to, uh, that is 0 0.36008. And we can see that 0 0.36 is approximately 0 0.36008, right? Uh, so we can conclude and say that events B and C are independent of each other because uh, the C is phi, uh, this definition here.